Ladies and gentlemen, I'll read you the legal statute in Arizona. Here it is. If the person allegedly in contempt fails or refuses to make return to the order, a warrant of arrest may issue directing the sheriff or any constable of the county where the person charged resides or may be found to arrest him and bring him before the court at a time and place directed by the court, and such person may be required to give bail for his attendance at the trial and his submission to file judgment of the court. This is a, if someone is held in contempt. And if someone is held in contempt for not producing documents demanded by the court, that this is a possible scenario. So when you have the absurd mentality that Trump or uh, Trump supporters in the Senate, the Arizona Senate, are authoritarian. This, by the way, is coming from people who, let's see, who said, you're either with us or against us. The same political side that went after a triple amputee Vietnam uh, hero, Max Cleland, 20 years ago, Senator Max Cleland from Georgia, disparaged him. Basic, what? Well, we could talk about, if you want to talk about what authoritarians do, you could link the Patriot Act if you wanted to. Um, if, if, if the rebuttal is, well, you know, that's sensible, uh, these are sensible laws that related to the time period, well, who wants to silence free speech? Which, which political side wants to silence free speech? So that's just one example. Which political side blindly accepts intelligence agencies as the word of God? You talk about authoritarians generally use media and their uh, intelligence agencies to their advantage. That's not what, tr what happened with Trump. Uh, authoritarians also, you know, you could say engage in mass incarceration. President Trump signed prison reform legislation and negotiated a deal to bring Americans home. This happened during his presidency. That's the antithesis of what an authoritarian does. But here you have Maricopa County uh, Board of Supervisors recently condemned the audit and rejected. Uh, they are not complying with the subpoenas. Neither is the tech company. And... There are, peop there are individuals and corporations not complying with the demand by the, the state senate. So it's going to go to court, and if they're held in contempt, that's what could happen. They could be arrested. It's possible. An Arizona state senator has called for members of the, of the county board of supervisors to be imprisoned after they condemned the county's widely uh, cri widely criticized audits. So it's like, this is all public relations. Well, it's been widely criticized, and they just continued the criticism. I, I mean, it's been widely criticized. I mean, I nobody agrees with it. And now they're saying that Wendy Rogers, so Wendy Rogers called for officials to be placed in, well, that is a little bit bizarre, solitary confinement, so that's bizarre. But you look at what's taking place, Democrats don't care, and media doesn't care, media and Democrats don't care if, for example, well, we'll, we'll just say, if it's, if it's their political side saying someone should be arrested, then you better believe, well, you better believe they don't care about how uh, their adversaries are being treated when they're detained. We'll leave it at that. But... That actually is the a statute. The statute. What's what happens in if you're held in contempt by a court of law in Arizona? So Wendy Rogers, in that respect, is correct. Uh, the solitary confinement, I'm not. I don't agree with, but um, that's what takes place. She's not like you know making things up. It's within the legal statute. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. To my super thanks. I want to thank you very much. Uh, the super thanks is below, right next to the uh, like and the share buttons. If you want to support this channel, buy me a cup of coffee or 
perhaps more. I don't have $20 million in venture capital funding and your support on this channel through super thanks and super chats during the live stream is extremely important. Cynthia McCarter, thank you. Thank you, Cynthia. Uh, Amix Liark, thank you so very much, Amix. And MIKMC Record, as always, thank you. So I, I will thank you uh, if you support the channel and my work through the super thanks. And that is below if you want to super thanks this segment. That would be greatly appreciated. I will have, so thank you so very much. Like I said, I don't have $20 million in venture capital funding. By the way, they're experiencing a discrimination case right now. So you're talking about the greatest hypocrites in politics make the most money. And it's very, it's a very unfortunate calculus or metric or... But anyway, I, I, your support is greatly appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, an Arizona state senator has called for members of the, of the Board of Supervisors to be imprisoned. Uh, I would like to know, quote, I would like to know if we have enough. <laughs> so, so this is a little bit too much. Uh, solitary confinement cells in Arizona available for the entire Board of Supervisors. Tweeted Wendy Rogers. <laughs> a vocal supporter. Wendy Rogers, a vocal supporter of President Trump. We're going to need a lot. Um, so that's up to the discretion. Actually, you might want to be, you, you, you probably don't want to be in the general population, so that actually might be more humane, who knows. But she, <laughs> she tweeted that out <laughs> yesterday in the late afternoon, and it's actually a, like, this is not, they're saying... People, the, the people are criticizing this, or conservatives who are never Trumpers are criticizing this as um, an authoritarian move, what a despot does, what a tyrant does. It's She's literally looking at the legal statutes. If you're held in contempt, obviously, it's not going to happen. It wouldn't happen right away. They wouldn't be arrested right away. But you see, when the Mueller probe demanded... When the Mueller probe demanded documents, or when Adam Kinzinger, for example, on the committee, the committee that lasted a week, a week prior to um, the moratorium on evictions ending, so Democrats had one goal, one goal, to extend the eviction on moratoriums, and they didn't do that. And now you have Adam Kinzinger, who cried for uh, what took place, the tragedy, it was a tragedy, those five people should be alive. You know, 25 people should be alive, and there, should be, there shouldn't have been $1 to $2 billion in property damage. Actually, something like I heard $5 billion in property damage, only $1 to $2 billion in insured property damage. Uh, he didn't cry for the lives ruined. Adam Kinzinger didn't cry for the $1 to $5 billion in property damage, according to Wikipedia. So, but he, he says, well, we're going to issue subpoenas. Okay. Uh, and if, if people don't comply, what happens then? We already know what took place um, with the wonderful uh, Clinton email probe. People didn't comply there. So Democrats pick and choose. Uh, with the Mueller probe, oh my God. I remember on MSNBC, there was one person who was uh, one, one Trump official. Uh, he said, no, I'm not going to comply. Why should I comply? And then you had the legal... Scholar on MSM, you need to comply. If you don't comply, it's a big problem. It's a big problem. So Democrats pick and choose. If they don't, if they don't like it, like in Arizona or the Clinton email probe, they're not going to comply because they have media backing them up. They have media backing them up. They have every single publication. Every single, like you have about 25 publications that will immediately side with Democrats on any issue and immediately oppose Trump. So you tell me, authoritarians and despots, A, always have the media narrative because they control the media narrative. B, always have intelligence agencies doing their bidding. Okay, and then you have the, the curtailing of free speech, which is a hallmark of democratic politics. Okay, and, and the military interventions. So, 
It's like he's Trump is the antithesis of an authoritarian. You basically have to be very ignorant of history to call Trump a despot. You have to know nothing about history. Okay? Prison reform legislation and bringing Americans home or, or limiting military interventions, okay, bringing home soldiers from foreign lands is the antithesis of what a despot does. But then again, you're not dealing with people. They might be somewhat educated, but they lack wisdom. And in many cases, they're just ignorant. So they're educated people who are ignorant of history. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Thank you so very, very much.